this video and they can watch it so when you are plotting this 1 by t here 1 by t you are uh, multiplying with uh, 10 to the power of 3 here also you are adding uh, 1000 here also here also log 1000 is equal to 3 that is the reason you are adding log plus 3 here you are multiplying with 10 to the power of 3 this you have already done and you are doing it and now what will happen this point a line i am plotting a line because i want to take a center line and i would like to take a line on either side of this so i want to like a like this are you able to see now okay this is corresponding to your 60 60 means 273 plus 60 is equal to 333 1 by 333 into uh, 1000 that is 10 to the power of 3 whatever the value you have got here that is corresponding to 60 this is corresponding to 50 this is corresponding to 40 like that you have got okay now you are we are taking corresponding to 25 you don't know what is the 20 at 25 what is there if you want to do the 25 it takes longer time it may it may take uh, maybe one day also for this practical to get the uh, your data uh, some uh, degradation so you have not done it but you want to have 25 data so you know the 25 means 273 plus 25 is 298 1 by 298 you calculate it you have got uh, something 3.33 so you put that that is corresponding to rt that is 25 so you are taking this value and putting the point here this is corresponding to 25 you are not done there is no point at 25 but you are going to determine the k value now then what do you do you take a line from here and intercepting to this line and you you have got one point intercepted to this line you draw a parallel line to the y axis now you have got the one point here that is your k value at 25 degree centigrade k value at 25 but this k value at 25 is added with most of the times you are adding uh, here also you are multiplying this 25 with you have added plus 3 here so this value what you are going to get is log k25 plus 3 you want to determine the k25 that is the reason whatever you are got the value and minus 3 you are going to do it then you are going to get k25 anti log of that value you will get k25 and you have got here 1 by 2 1 by t into 10 to the power of 3 that means 1000 because you have added 3 here also here also 3 because it is a logarithm you have added 3 because it is a natural one that is the reason you are writing 10 to the power of 3 so this one you are going to put it to the 25 and predicting the value here how much value you have got here that will give you k value once you know the k value at 25 degree centigrade you can calculate the shelf life so the shelf life is t90 time taken to degradation of your product to 90 degrees that you have got the value that is equal to formula 0.105 0 0.105 divided by k by using this you can calculate the t90 t is you are predicted for the room temperature now what you have done here you have done accelerated conditions at 40 this is corresponding to your 40 40 degree centigrade this is corresponding to your 50 this is corresponding to 60 this is actually a axis 0 so 60 1 by 60 is lesser that is approaching to 0 so you are going to have a four three different points corresponding to different higher points accelerated conditions not the regular room temperature you are using the same data 
and you are going to calculate prediction of at 25 by drawing a vertical line here taking a parallel line intersecting this that you determine here this point you determine the anti log of that you are going to get the k you replace that k value here by dividing 1.05 you will get a t90 this is 